The news tonight about jobs isn't great. The best you can say is it's not quite as bad as it has been. The government says 418,000 more Americans joined the line for unemployment benefits last week, but that is 14,000 fewer than the week before. For those fortunate enough to find a new job, Anthony Mason tells us there's another challenge these days, holding on to that job. David Reed has more than 30 years experience as a salesman in the food industry. But now, working in a neighbor's backyard, he's literally shoveling mulch for gas money. $1,200. At home in Manassas, Virginia, the bills are piling up for David and his wife, Susan. This one here is already in collections. So we don't have anything where we could write a check today? No. David, who made as much as $80,000 as a salesman to high-end restaurants, lost his job last October. He's been laid off three times in the past three years. Three years, three jobs? Yes. What is that saying to you? Over the years, I've done very well in this industry, and then all of a sudden it's uh, let go, let go, let go. And uh, for me, it's, uh, it's depressing. But research shows workers who've been laid off once, if rehired, are more likely to be laid off again. 21 percent, that's one in five, face unemployment again within a year. You reached the point you were willing to apply to a fast food company for an assistant manager's job? Nine dollars an hour. But you didn't get it? No. Nope. When you made the choice to go to a fast food restaurant to apply, what were you saying to yourself? Uh, has it come to this? And that's with no disrespect to the people that work there. And for older workers like Reed, who's 62 this month, it typically takes longer to be rehired. His likelihood of finding another job within a year is just 18 percent, half that of a younger worker. With their four children now grown, Susan has gone back to work at a local wine and gift shop. You weren't expecting to become the primary breadwinner? No. <laughs> no, no, not on the income that I make. But her $30,000 salary is all that's allowing them to hold on to their home in a neighborhood where others haven't been so lucky. We don't want that in front of our house. And Friends have also helped, sometimes anonymously. So you just opened a mailbox here and there was a check inside? Well, actually, there was cash inside. Cash? Cash. How did that feel when you got just... <sighs> well, I was very emotional because I didn't know who did it. I don't know who to thank. While we were there, an email arrived. David, I may have an idea that could work for you. Let He's now interviewing with a company. So that's encouraging. It's very encouraging. Hope for David Reed at a time when hope can be hard to come by. Anthony Mason, CBS News, Manassas, Virginia.